Hmm. Oh, hi. My name is B, like the letter B. This is Mr. Butterfly, and this is Meta, the brown bear. Today, we are going to do two different color experiments. The first color experiment we are going to do today is called the walking water color mixing experiment. To do this experiment, we will need seven clear cups, red, yellow, and blue food coloring dye, six strips of paper towel, and some water. Mm. Now, we have to do this experiment on a flat surface, so I am using this very large tray. I have already placed my seven cups in a row right next to each other. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can use any kind of clear cups. Clear cups work really great for this experiment because they allow us to see what is happening inside the cups. Now, we are going to pour water into every other cup. We will fill the cups halfway full with water. I have a pitcher of water right over here. Okay, that looks great. Mm -hmm. Next, we will add five drops of red food coloring dye to the first Next, we will add five drops of yellow dye into the third cup. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Now we will add five drops of blue dye into this cup. And then we will use our red dye again and add five drops into the very last cup. Wow. Okay, now we will need to mix the dye and the water really well. These three colors, red, yellow, and blue, as we learned in our mixing colors video, are called primary colors. All right, now we will add six strips of paper towel to our cups. Now, I have already folded and cut our six strips of paper, but let me show you how to do it. Okay, so take a piece of paper towel and fold it in half, like this. All right. Now take this strip of paper and fold it in half again, like this. All right, now take this very narrow strip of paper and fold it in half, like this. The last thing you are going to do is cut one to two inches off the bottom of each strip so that when you place your strips in your cups, they are not standing too high above the cups. All right, so I'll take my scissors and cut about one inch off the bottom, like this. Now, depending on how old you are, you may need a grown-up to cut your strips for you, and that's okay. Ooh. All right, now we're going to place our strips into our plastic cups, like this. Make sure the bottoms of the strips touch the bottoms of the cups. Now, this is the really fun part. We will start to see the colorful water in each cup begin to walk up the paper strips 
over the cups, down the paper strips, and into the empty cups. Mm. What do you think will happen when the red water walks over this paper strip and lands into this cup, and the yellow water walks over this paper strip and lands into the same cup? The colors should mix and make a new color. Do you know what color they should make? <gasps> Red and yellow mixed together should make the color orange. What do you think will happen when the yellow water walks over this paper strip and the blue water walks over this paper strip and they both meet in this empty cup? The color should mix and make a new color. Do you know what color they should make? Mm. <gasps> Yellow and blue mixed together should make the color green. And lastly, what do you think will happen when the blue water walks over this strip and into this empty cup and the red water walks over this strip and into the same empty cup? The colors should mix and make a new color. What color do you think blue and red will make? Purple! Mm -hmm. Now, this part can take a very long time. So if you are doing this experiment with us, make sure you set up your experiment in a place that it can stay overnight, as it may take several hours for the colors to walk and mix together. Mm. We're going to speed up our video so that you can see the water walk and mix at a much faster pace. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Wow, Meta, do you see that the red, yellow, and blue water is walking or traveling over the paper strips and starting to fill up the empty cups? <laughs> Look, Meta, the colors are starting to mix together. Hey, Meta, do you see the new colors that are starting to appear? Mm-hmm. Wow, that looks really cool. I see red and yellow mixed together make the color orange. Ooh. Yellow and blue mixed together make the color green. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Blue and red mixed together make the color purple. Wow! These new colors, as we learned in our Mixing Colors video, are called secondary colors. This walking water mixing color experiment is complete when all the cups have the same amount of water in them. But wait, how does this work? Hmm. Well, because of something called capillary action. Capillary action is when liquid can flow in a very narrow space, even against gravity. Now, that was really neat, watching the colors walk over the paper strips and into the empty cups and seeing them mix together to make new colors. Mate is going to do a second color experiment with our friend, Miss Y, who is a scientist at the Curiosity Lab in the city. <gasps> Mate, have a great time visiting Miss Y. Hi, Mate. It is so great to see mm -hmm. you today. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Y, and I work here at the Curiosity Lab. Over there is my assistant, Bolty the Robot. Today, we are going to do a color-changing milk experiment. What we need to do this experiment is one plate, food coloring dye, milk, dish soap, and a cotton swab. First, we are going to pour the milk onto our plate like this. Mm. Okay. 
Ooh, Mainta, look at that. Okay, we want to fill it to just almost the top. Ooh. The milk has to be completely still before we can move on to the next step, mm -hmm. Mainta. Okay, I think we can continue. Now we are going to add our food coloring dye to the milk. A few drops of each color near the center of our plate, like this. Do a little bit of green. Then a little bit of red. Yellow mm -hmm. Meta. Mm. Okay. Can't wait to see what this does. And my favorite color, blue. Mm. All right, on to the dish soap. I've already put some dish soap in this cup. I'll take one cotton swab and dab a small amount on the end of the swab like this. Okay, so just a little bit. Ooh. Now, we are going to touch the different drops of dye with the end of our cotton swab. You'll see a super cool reaction occur when the soap on our cotton swab touches the milk and dye. The colors will spread all over the plate meta and mix together. Ooh. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens. <gasps> wow, that is really interesting. <gasps> the colors literally spread across the milk, mixing all together, Meta. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try pushing the cotton swab all the way down into the milk so that it touches the plate. <gasps> Meta! When you push it all the way through, colors are coming up from underneath. Do you see that, Meta? Mm -hmm. Wow, this is fascinating. Okay, but why did this happen? Well, let me tell you, milk has fat in it. The fat is connected with tight bonds. Think of my fingers as bonds. They are tightly connected together. Mm. When the dish soap is added, it breaks the bonds in the milk apart causing the fat in the milk to separate and spread. When the food coloring dye is added to the milk, the dye floats on top of the fat. So when the soap touches the dye, the dye also separates and spreads, mixing the colors all together. I hope you had fun doing the color changing milk experiment. Mm -hmm. Meta, thank you for visiting the Curiosity Lab today. And remember, Miss Y is here, so ask away. Did you have a good time with Miss Y? Mm -hmm. Yes? Woo! Do you know what time it is? It's time to dance. This is where we stop what we are doing, stand up, and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. <gasps> do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's the idea train. <gasps> and look, it's Pinky the Boombox. Hi, Pinky the Boombox. All right. Thank you, idea train. Mm -hmm. All right. I will put Pinky the Boombox right here. Pinky plays our music. I will take this gold cassette tape and put it in here. Then I will close it up and push the button with the triangle on it, the play button. Are you ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
I will push the play button now. That was a lot of fun. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Guess what? It's time to share some meta art. Are you ready for our first piece of art? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, this first piece of art was sent to us by a family who lives in New York. Mm -hmm. Siblings. Mia and Matthew made this awesome Maytar. <laughs> hey, Maytar, look. There you are in the center of this art. There is me, B. Oh, and look over here, I see the idea train and two wonderful trees. Mia and Matthew, thank you for making this fantastic Maytar. <laughs> okay. And our second piece of art was sent to us by a family who lives in India. A really awesome kid named Avni made this Meta art. Look, Meta, there we are. Mm -hmm. B and Meta. And look, Meta, above us is your name. M-A-Y-T-A. Avni, thank you for sending us this magnificent mate art. All right, and our last piece of art we're going to share today was sent to us by a family who lives in Georgia. <laughs> a really cool kid named Kavya made this mate art. Whoa! Kavya, I love all the colors that you used in your art. <gasps> I see me be. Wow, and over here is Mr. Butterfly. And made to look, there you are, with a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, way over here, Kavya drew herself. Kavya, thank you for sending us this magnificent Mate art. Before we go, let's say five good things about ourselves. Do you want to do that? Yes? Okay, I'll go first and then you repeat what I say after me. Number one, I am strong. Number two, I am helpful. Number three, I am smart. Number four, I am brave. Number five, I am kind. That was really great, Meta. Nice job. Thank you for spending your time with us, and until next time, bye!